National Memorial. The National Park Service is pleased to announce that beginning Tuesday, November 2nd, 2021, Federal Hall will have indoor visitation. The hours of operation will be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Once again, thank you for calling Federal Hall National Memorial. There are oceans and rocks, places where fish swim and birds fly, where mountains spring up and trees and grass grow all around. History is made. Get together. It belongs to everyone. It can be a place, a feeling, a state of mind. So get up, get out there. May 21st, 2022, to Mr. William Shathroth, President and CEO, National Parks Foundation, Washington, D.C. Dear Mr. Shafroth, I am writing you both in frustration and with hope that the National Parks Foundation will step in and correct this terrible situation at one of our most important national historical sites, Federal Hall National Monument. The very site where the United States was created and where George Washington became our first president and many other important events in American history took place. Federal Hall's only equal in the United States is Independence Hall, and both are in a special category. No other historic sites are as important. What is taking place at Federal Hall is a national disgrace in contrast to Independence Hall and a black mark on the National Park Service. What is taking place at the very famous corners of Wall and Broad Street at Federal Hall would never ever happen at Independence Hall, and that is at the very core of this scandal. It will take the very serious intervention of the National Parks Foundation and others to force the White House and the National Park Service to take immediate action. One, Federal Hall has been completely closed since March 2020, and unlike every other NPS site in the United States, it is still closed with no prospect for reopening, nor explanation for its complete continuing closure. Two, Last year, NPS erected massive sidewalk sheds and scaffolding surrounding the building completely. And as reported by NBC News, National Park Service stated, this sidewalk shed and scaffolding will remain up for from five to 10 years for the repair damage on the exterior. What? Major skyscrapers are built within two to three years. For example, in New York City, the recently completed massive, super tall, 93-floor skyscraper, 1 Vanderbilt Avenue, across the street from Grand Central Terminal, opened in September 2020. But to repair some damage to the exterior of Federal Hall on Wall Street will take 5 to 10 years, really? Nonsense scandal. As we all know, Work like this should be completed in a few months. In fact, should have already been completed and the sidewalk shed taken down. In reality, no work has been done, none at all, since that scaffolding went up, and I strongly suspect there has not even been a contract proposal prepared to find a contractor to do the work. Yes, this is a national disgrace, a scandal. You and I and everyone knows what is taking place, or more to the point, not taking place, would never happen at Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Independence Hall began reopening January 4th, 2021, one and one half years ago, and the National Park Service would never announce sidewalk sheds and scaffolding will be up surrounding Independence Hall for five to ten years. Yet. Federal Hall is still not open at all, 
for no reason and no announcement if or when it will reopen. And as for the ugly sidewalk shed and scaffolding, National Park Service announced it might be up until 2030. Making it worse, if it was possible to be worse, well, it is. Based on these comments, work that should have already been completed and the scaffolding removed is very likely to still be up based on the National Park Service statement up during and after America's 250th anniversary in July 2026. Adding insult to injury, New York City generally, and Lower Manhattan specifically in this case, is trying to fully recover from COVID-19. Yet a major tourist attraction and a mark of pride for all New Yorkers, Federal Hall is both closed and looks as ugly as could be surrounded by plywood and pipes. There is much more damning detail to this story. I will supply when you or your staff call me. For now, please watch this video I prepared that I hope will inspire you along with my letter to take immediate action. Federal Hall should be reopened at once from its Pine Street entrance and the work on the building should be completed and the sidewalk shed removed quickly. Arthur Piccolo, Chairman, Bowling Green Association.